the cradle of Western civilization, the civilization that created the modern world. Could it be that Greece's diverse climate contributed to the genius of its people? Let's find out, beginning on the Greek islands. The island of Rhodes, here, in the Mediterranean just west of Turkey, has a Mediterranean hot summer climate. Crete, located down here, and many of the other islands in Greece's archipelago share this climate. Rhodes has a spring average of 16 degrees Celsius, summer average 26, fall 21, and winter 12 degrees Celsius. Moving over here into the middle of the Greek islands, the vacation destinations of Santorini, located down here on their island, and Mykonos, located up here. Both have very similar temperatures to Rhodes, but about half as much rain. As a result of the low levels of rainfall, these islands are both classified as hot semi-arid. Briefly skipping over the Greek mainland to the Ionian Islands, located here in the Ionian Sea, we find climactic conditions similar to that of Rhodes. For example, the island of Cephalonia, located here, which includes the famous Martos Beach, has a Mediterranean hot summer climate, roughly a degree colder than that of Rhodes in each season. Moving into central Greece, this region here, we come to the capital and historic city of Athens, located here, home of the Parthenon. Athens has a hot summer Mediterranean climate, with temperatures similar to that of Rhodes, but with even hotter summer temperatures averaging 30 degrees Celsius in July and August. Deeper into the Greek mainland, the climate begins to change. Moving up the west coast, we come to the capital, regional capital of Ioannina, located here. Ioannina experiences a mild temperate climate. Spring, 12 degrees. Summer, 25. Fall, 15 degrees on average. And winter, 5 degrees Celsius on average. Temperatures fall moving north into this region, which includes the Vicos Ayos National Park. Each month is a few degrees cooler than Ioannina, while maintaining mild temperate features. Vicos Ayos National Park is located in the Pindus Mountain Range. The Pindus Mountain Range, which you can clearly see here from northern Greece all the way down to the south of the mainland, divides the Greek mainland into two parts. The Pindus Range keeps most moisture coming off of the Ionian Sea over here on the west side of the mountains, keeps the moisture on the west side of the mainland. This rain shadow effect causes wetter conditions west of the mountains and drier conditions over here on the east side of the mountain range. This contributes to a semi-arid climate in some of the regions east of the Pindus, including Thessaly, here, and Macedonia, located up here. The climate of Thessaly province, which I'll zoom into here, is located, here it is located on the Aegean Sea, which is just over here, is predominantly Mediterranean and cold semi-arid. The capital city here of Larissa in the region experiences the rain shadow effect of the Pindus Mountains and is cold semi-arid with less than half of the rain enjoyed by Ioannina over on the west side of the mountain range. Larissa has a spring average of 13 degrees Celsius, summer 26 degrees Celsius, fall 17 degrees, and winter an average of 5 degrees Celsius. 
Moving north, the region of Macedonia on Greece's northern border contains a variety of climates. Greece's second largest city of Thessaloniki, located here, has a cold, semi-arid climate and very similar seasonal temperatures to Larissa. Kozani, located here and to the west of Thessaloniki, has a mild temperate climate with rainfall balanced throughout the year. Mount Kamakchalan, located here on the border with North Macedonia, sits on Greece's northern border and has a subarctic humid continental climate, a climate type rarely seen this close to the Tropic of Cancer. Mount Kamakchalan has spring average temperatures of 2 degrees Celsius, summer 13, fall 5, and winter a chilly minus 4 degrees Celsius on average. Well, thank you for joining me on this journey across Greece. Please support this channel by sharing, subscribing, and getting the alerts as our journey across Mother Earth has only just begun. This video was made possible by public domain materials from Nassau Worldwind through the Marvel Virtual Globe Application and the Copen Climate Classification System.